Yes, I know. The James Webb Space Telescope and its discoveries are creating quite the buzz. And we are absolutely thrilled to find out what it finds out in the coming days. However, let's not forget that there wouldn't be a Webb without a Hubble. And while Webb is hunting the early universe, Hubble is currently exploring our galaxy to find a very special type of black holes. And it looks like it has found one, very, very close to the Earth. Welcome to Lab 360. It's time to explore. Astronomers using NASA's Hubble Space Telescope have come up with what they say is some of their best evidence yet for the presence of a rare class of intermediate-sized black hole that may be lurking in the heart of the closest globular star cluster to Earth, which is located only 6,000 light-years away. And before we start to draw conclusions, let's first understand what intermediate-sized black holes are. Like intense gravitational potholes in the fabric of space, virtually all black holes seem to come in two sizes, small and humongous, aka supermassive black holes. It's estimated that our galaxy is littered with 100 million small black holes created from exploded stars. These black holes would be twice to several times the mass of our sun. On the other hand, the universe at large is flooded with supermassive black holes, weighing millions or billions of times our sun's mass, and found in the centers of galaxies. Now, for the longest time, scientists have theoretically known the existence of a third kind of black holes, which are medium-sized, compared to the other two extremes. These weigh somewhere between 100 and 100,000 solar masses, for a number of reasons, including the need for more data, these and other intermediate mass black hole findings still remain inconclusive and do not rule out alternative theories. But looks like we finally have a home run, all thanks to Hubble. Hubble's unique capabilities have now been used to zero in on the core of the globular star cluster Messier 4, aka M4 to go black hole hunting with higher precision than ever before. The team estimates that the black hole in M4 could be as much as 800 times our sun's mass and is possibly growing its way to become a supermassive black hole. But could it be something else? Well, Hubble's data tend to rule out alternative theories for this object, such as a neutron stars or smaller black holes swirling around each other. Eduardo Vitrell of the Space Telescope Science spoke about the finding, saying, While we cannot completely affirm that it is a central point of gravity, we can show that it is very small. It's too tiny for us to be able to explain other than it being a single black hole. Alternatively, 
there might be a stellar mechanism we simply don't know about, at least within current physics. Wow. Looks like even Hubble is joining Webb in finding cosmic enigmas that we cannot comprehend or fully explain. Yes, the James Webb Space Telescope, with its unparalleled ability to peer deep into space, has uncovered a mind-boggling revelation. Scientists have discovered what they believe to be the oldest known black hole in the universe, owing to the telescope's ultra-powerful sensors that captured this elusive entity. This supermassive black hole, which dwarfs our sun by a staggering 10 million times, existed at the center of a galaxy 570 million years after the universe's inception, a time so remote it's difficult to fathom. To put it in perspective, the universe itself is estimated to be 13.7 billion years old. What is strange here is that not only are we discovering ancient galaxies that contradict the Dark Ages according to the standard models of cosmology, we are also discovering these massive black holes that are painting a very different picture of the early universe. What is going on? Observations collected through the James Webb Space Telescope have revealed an active supermassive black hole 10 million times the mass of the Sun one that is actively growing as it slurps up matter from the space around it. At just 570 million years after the Big Bang, this is the earliest growing supermassive black hole detected yet, although scientists are hoping it won't remain the record holder for long. The black hole was found inside one of the earliest galaxies ever detected, previously known as EGSY8P7, though since renamed CS 1019. Its discovery could help with one of the biggest head scratches of the early universe. How the black holes in the cosmic dawn grew to such large sizes in such a short amount of time. We found the most distant active galactic nucleus, AGN, and the most distant, earliest black hole we've ever found, said an astrophysicist associated with the finding. Scientists were initially looking at CS 1019 as part of their work, investigating light produced by star formation in the very early universe. This light, called Lyman Alpha emission, is thought to be generated by the ionization of neutral hydrogen by star formation activity. The early universe was filled with a fog of neutral hydrogen, which prevented light from propagating. It was only after this hydrogen was ionized that light could stream freely. This epoch of reionization, as it is known, is not fully understood. We know it took place in the first billion years after the Big Bang 13.8 billion years ago. But seeing that far into the early universe is really hard. CS 1019 and a handful of other super early galaxies are excellent targets for this research. Because they are relatively bright, the galaxy was identified in Hubble data in 2015, and at the time was the earliest, most distant galaxy observed. Subsequent observations confirmed its existence, but more detailed information remained elusive. The earliest light in the universe has shifted so far into the infrared part of the spectrum due to the universe's expansion, that a powerful, dedicated infrared instrument like Webb is necessary to probe them. So, when JWST came along, CS 1019, the brightest of the Hubble galaxies from this epoch, was an obvious target. The telescope stared at the galaxy for just one hour, with all four of its instruments, but returned a wealth of data. In the moment I was kind of like, wow. Look at everything we can see with JWST. We've seen this whole portion of the spectrum of this galaxy we've never seen before, said astrophysicist Rebecca Lawson. I was just overwhelmed by the amount of information. But then she noticed something she wasn't quite expecting. In addition to the light of star formation, there was a broad emission feature usually associated with AGN. And when she mentioned it to some AGN researchers, things started to get interesting. 
Typically a galaxy in the early universe emits either light from an AGN or light from star formation. To see both in the same galaxy was extremely unexpected. There is some impact that the black hole is having on the emission lines that we're seeing, but most of the light we see in our images is still dominated by the star forming part of the galaxy. That a supermassive black hole existed more than 13.2 billion years ago and was seen growing is not as surprising as you might think. Much larger black holes have been detected in the early universe. Scientists still do not know how the black holes in those galaxies got to be so massive that early on in the universe. Looks like the early universe is quite bizarre and we have but only touched the surface. What do you guys have to say? Drop in your comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to Lab360, because together, we will explore.